Welcome to another episode of The Short Circuit. I am Kate Constable, alongside the host of Hoops With Us podcast, Alex Caramanos, and we're joined today by one of the top players in the class of 2022, that is Brandon Huntley-Hatfield. Brandon, thanks for joining us today. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So where are you right now? You look, I know you're playing um, with the fans, or are you, are you traveling, or? I'm in um, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, for um, a big shot tournament with our 16U um, team. Okay. Awesome. Um, how's that going so far? Um, pretty good. Um, right now we're two and one. Um, two and one. Last game we lost. Um, we didn't really play to the best of our, to the best of our abilities. Um, but we got the we got the W um, at four o'clock today, and we have two tomorrow. So it should be fun. And we're just chilling out here having fun. Okay. Good. So Brandon, uh, before this. Uh, these events started happening, man. What were you doing during the quarantine to stay on top of your game and uh, stay in basketball shape? Um, I was, me and my, um, some of my teammates on B-Maze um, and Bobby, we were uh, work out. Two, we would have two a days, um, and we would lift every day, so we got stronger and faster. Um, just really working on our game every single day for three months straight. Um, really just working on, like, just a little bit of everything. I'm trying to get prepared for when, for when everything gets to open back up. Um, but these past few months have been good. We've just been working out and um, just staying healthy and um, getting better. So obviously, like you said, you're playing right now in Myrtle Beach. Um, the tip-off classic was this last weekend in Atlanta. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. And how did that go for you guys? How does it, first of all, how does it just feel to be back on the court and actually being able to play a five-on-five game of basketball? It was good. Um, I feel like over these three months of quarantine, I really wanted to um, – get back out there and show everyone I've been working on. So it was good. But uh, last weekend, we didn't have a winning record. We went two and three, uh, lost some pretty good matchups. Um, so that was that was a pretty – that was pretty um, good adversity for us. But, um, yeah, I feel like – I feel like everyone just want to get back on the court – get back on the court early because over these quarantine, we've been just working hard. Really just want to show everyone how we improve. Yeah, um – it might not – last weekend might not have gone gone the way you guys wanted as a team, but you played pretty well in all those, averaged 16 points throughout the tournament. Uh, what was working well for you that weekend? Um, really just, like, using it, using everything I worked on during quarantine. I got, like, a lot stronger, so really just getting to my spots whenever I wanted to, um, really trying to score in different ways and also trying to um, do a little bit of everything for my team, uh, rebound and pass and communicate and um, defend for my guys. Um, but really, for me, really just trying to get to my spots. Um, but mainly trying to um, shoot less jumpers and really start to um, get inside more. Okay. Given that I'm, like, bigger than everyone. Yeah. <laughs> so, Brandon, during the high school season, you attend uh, IMG Academy. Uh, just tell us how this past season went for you guys as a team and how you think you improved as a player this past season. Um, for us, as a team, we didn't really go as, um, how we expected. We lost a couple pieces that we really needed. Um, we we really just our, our our team went through a lot of adversity, and we didn't really have all the pieces we needed to be a top team and stay there as a top team. Took a couple of L's. I think we went like nineteen and six um, last season. Um, but we're looking for reloading um, this upcoming um, season in the fall. Um, I played a little bit more, so for me, um, to be in a, um, a two-year there um, helped me become more of a leader. Um, and I'm looking forward to the um, third year to be um, to lead the guys. And who's coming back with you next year? Who a part of this team will be returning? So you might have a little bit more of a veteran core leadership. We have got Jairus Walker. Um, we got Musa, um, and we got um, Eric Gailey coming back. Just um, okay. those those four returning. Okay. Um, and I know that you are young for your grade, and so you um, are now – you were first in the 2021 class, you're now in the 2022 class. You still have the option of going back. What's that decision been like? Why did you decide to reclass yourself in within the 2022? Um, for me, like, I really – it's all about development. Um, I felt like I wasn't ready um, to be in 21 and leave early or leave – um, before um, the 2022, so we made a decision to put me in 22 because of the like I needed that one more year, I guess, 
player development and stuff, and which helped me out a lot. Um, really, just like taking it day by day. I'm not really like stressing um, about to reclass or not, um, because uh, from what me and my um team we're just um just taking day by day, um, telling us that I'm on the right track right now, so there's no need to rush and go back in 21 and could possibly mess up something. So I'm just taking it day by day, um, and just not really thinking about the reclassification right now. And to be playing at IMG, I mean, that's like a serious basketball school. You guys are just playing, I mean, you're basketball all the time. But something I've heard about that school, and tell me if I'm wrong, but do you guys do any, like, mental coaching? Do you have any of that worked into your schedules throughout the week? Yeah. Sometimes, um, well, sometimes we have sessions with our mental coach um, and, like, other, like, in, like, the other departments of, like, um, of the school, like, leadership and stuff, so, like, working on, like, our mental as a player. Yeah. Um, because we, like – the game is like 90% mental. Right. So they really want us to be mentally strong. Like when we go on the road and then they're going to come at us because we're IMG or saying this, anything to us on the court. So we need to be mentally strong. So we have, um, we have some sessions with our mental coach as a team. And then you can get individual um, session with the mental coach um, to like better your mental strength while yeah. on, the, um, on the court and off the court too, to help with that too. Do you think that's, um, those skills, those practices that you've kind of put into play, have that has that really helped your game within just like the last year or so? The what? Just having those those mental coaches and like learning oh. to think in different ways like that off the court, like has that helped your game? Do you do you think? Yeah. Um, given that, like when I go to tournaments, um, and I'm the the featured player, I guess, and people mm -hmm. um want to have the target on my back, so and they always want to just talk all the time, talk on the court to me. And then for me, I'm really learning how to not say anything now because me, I, I take that. I don't really like that. So I, I, I like to bark back, whatever. Right. But um, I'm learning to not like to, to, to just block it out and just play my game because once they do that, then I'm out the game and then I can't help my team win. So right. um, yeah, that's a good, that, that, that's a good thing for me. Um, probably mentally. So even when someone's trying to come at me, just stay in my, just keep playing my game. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, Brandon, uh, you attended the USA Junior National Training Camp. Tell us what that experience was like and what it was like playing against guys in your class and above classes, some of the top players in the nation, getting a chance to play with those guys. Um, it, it was a good experience. Um, it allowed me to see where I was at in my class, in my respective class. Um, but it was fun. It was a different, it was a different atmosphere. Like everyone, like, Every guy on the court is good at what they at what they do, um, so you gotta come out at USA. Sorry, you broke up there for a second. I think we lost you, but um, have you back now? So you've gotten a lot of exposure from college coaches and different schools, tons of offers. Um, do you, I know you've narrowed down your list to maybe seven or so? But out of those ones, is anyone really kind of like standing out to you at this point? You know, um, to be honest, I love I, – I, I'm, I'm interested in every school that's interested in me. I don't really have a favorite right now. Um, and the process has been fun, um, but um, I don't really have a, a certain school right now. Um, I'm interested in – I like every I like every single school, but I'm looking to visit most um, – mainly all those schools. What has recruiting been like with the whole coronavirus thing, not being able to, like, physically go on official visits and things like that? Um, I'm sure it's – I mean, I know it's all basically talking to coaches over the phone, but um, what has that whole process been like? Just because it's a different, the recruiting world's different right now. Um, kind of died down a little bit. Um, when I was in Knoxville, we had we had like a, a team practice, and they streamed it, and then they sent out the college coaches, whatever. Um, but um, it's been really it's been really slow, I guess, until after the um, the period where the um, the college coaches can tech um, can call twenty twenty twos. Um, yeah. But um, it's been really it has it has it's been really on up and down lately. Um, but the corona stopped it all. They couldn't really come out and see us play. They couldn't see us like early, like when we was on um, working out and stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, it it took a I think the corona pandemic took a toll on the um recruiting process. And I was reading up on you, doing my research for this interview, kind of trying to get to know you a little bit beforehand. And I saw um, your mom tweeted out a picture of you in a Kentucky uniform with a couple other guys who might also be being recruited to Kentucky. Is that, 
Is that like a foreshadowing at all? No, man. I, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't know what photo you're talking about. I okay. I, I, mean, I don't think I haven't um, seen it. But now, nah, um, I think I, I think it's a photo when I was younger or something. I don't know. But okay, it could have been. It could have been from a little while ago or whatnot. But yeah, I just saw yeah. and I kind of thought, hmm, I better ask it's, him about that. Yeah, she didn't be. She didn't just post anything. There's nothing um, behind <laughs> it at all. Are there any schools that you? I mean, I know you still have time, being 2022, but that you haven't heard of yet, but you're really hoping you do. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing from. I want to get on Arizona, UNC, Duke, mm-hmm. Oregon, UCLA. Um, I want all that. All the SEC schools, all of them too. Um, just just to name a few that yep. I would like to um, get to know, or they get to know me, I guess. Okay. All right, Brandon. Let's break down your game a little bit, man. Uh, you're six eight forward who can score at all three levels very efficiently. You're able to put the ball on the floor and create your own shot, whether that's right into your pull up or getting all the way to the rim for a dunk or a layup. You're also very well in transition as well, filling lanes and getting your guys involved on fast breaks. Uh, the question I have for you is, what are some parts of your game that you would say go a little bit unnoticed that a lot of people don't talk about? Um, my passing. Hit them with different um, – I can hit them in stride. I can pass them with, any, with either hand. Um, I, think, I think my passing is a little bit under the radar. Um, that's why I want to try to showcase that more when I'm playing, when I'm in transition, trying to find different guys, not always – trying to be in um, score mode. So um, really just getting guys, getting guys some good shots and some open shots. That's really what I like to do on the court. For sure, man, for sure. So this next season coming up at IMG Academy, what are some personal goals that you want to set for yourself as well as some team goals that you guys want to achieve? Um... Obviously, we want to win back with Nationals. I think Chef probably have a really good chance of winning it all. Um, really, just rebounding the rebounding the ball at, at a high level um, and finding open guys. I can my I feel like my vision is is pretty good. I can um, just find different guys. So I want to lead the team in rebounding um, and assists and um, and steals. I think my defense goes unnoticed too. I can play defense. <laughs> What does the rest of your summer look like, Brandon? Um, I have two more games tomorrow. Um, then I think our team is hosting a um a tournament, um August first. Um, I think um Team Sizzle, Ch- Chet will be there, and um Nate Biddle will be there. Um, and some other good teams and some other good players will be there for um a tournament August first at at our own gym in Knoxville. Okay. Um, really just training every day, getting ready for next year, get back to go, getting ready to go back to school. So um, we got a, one more tournament and then just keep working and just, I go to school like a couple months and like a month. So just preparing for that. And um, we just trying to get better every day. Not goal. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose it's already mid, mid June almost. Summer's halfway over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I know. School in a month. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Well, we know you have to play tomorrow and probably need some rest, so we won't take up any more of your time. But thank you so much for joining us, and good luck the rest of the weekend. Thank you for having me.